Hello! Welcome to this bit from Top Gear Series 41. In this bit, Brennan Coogan is trying to find the Western Cruise, an underground cruise slash racing scene in Western Supermare, a place in North Somerset, England. Car enthusiasts show up for the Western Cruise to show off their unique and modified cars to do some cruising or racing with like-minded people. Enjoy! Brendan cruises the West Country looking for bad cars and crazy people. Now you can keep your San Tropez and your Monte Carlo because I know I have arrived as a Top Gear presenter because these are the salubrious surroundings of, wait for it, Western Supermare. Thank you, yes, I've come to one of Somerset's most glamorous seaside resorts to investigate the seedy underbelly of motoring culture, commonly known as a cruise. But first of all, I've got to find it. No one organises the Western Cruise, it's a word of mouth thing. But by 8 o'clock on the first bank holiday in May, there was a steady stream of lightly and heavily modified metal cruising the seafront looking for some action. Well, this was going to be the place where the boys and girls were going to congregate to do their thing, or indeed, thang. But as is often the case, the authorities have got wise and closed the whole area off. So now we suspect somebody is scouring Western Supermare looking for another huge car park. Time to move on. And time to talk cars, cruising and cops. Time to get stuck into some cruise culture. Fellas, you've obviously spent a lot of money on the car. How much? That'd be telling, wouldn't it? <laughs> so are you going to be um, cruising up and down tonight? No. I'm in Daddy Bay. Not doing any tricks. I'll be in by 10. I'll be in by 10. Cheers, Gaz. No How many cars do you reckon will be down here tonight? Thousands. Two thousand. Yeah, thousands of them. And they'll be all from all around England as well. They all know about it. Now, I've noticed that there's not too many police around. Um, are you worried about the feds coming down later? They will be down later, yeah. Once everyone starts kicking off, they'll be down here. What do you mean, kicking off? Burnouts, out, fast, everything. everything. Not, yeah. They'll be down here. The cars on display range from the predictable Novas and Escorts to Citroen BXs and Peugeot 405s all with the ubiquitous huge bore exhaust and alloy wheels that do anything but keep a low profile. By 10 o'clock, the seafront was packed and the air heavy with the smell of burning rubber. Hey, excuse me, I'm not used to filming. Who are you filming and why? Oh, I'm filming all the cars, basically. What's, what's the fascination? What's the interest? Well, what they've got, how fast they go. All right, so far so good, but we've now heard that things might be going on in the car park of a well-known burger establishment, so that is where we're heading now. Well, that was where we wanted to go, but the law had other ideas. By 11 o'clock, there were roadblocks around Weston as the police tried to break the crews up. The only place we could go was home. So last weekend, we went back to Weston to try and find the reason for the huge police operation. There had to be a darker side to the cruise. It was all quiet on the Western front, but near a McDonald's on the edge of town, a crowd was gathering. Amongst the throng of Novas and Golfs were some pretty special cars. This is your TTI art. First of all, tell me if you modified it at all. I certainly have. It's got a, it's been chipped. It's got a Nismo three-inch exhaust. It's got lowering springs. It's got adjustable suspension, super impressive dump valve, air filter. You name it, it's got it. Now the weather tonight is pretty miserable. Are you, yeah. are you concerned about kind of safety when you're driving around at all? I'm not driving around. I'm parked up. Tell us um, first of all about all of this in the boot. What's all that about? Well, basically, yeah, big sounds. Uh, it's what was required when when you got a modified car. Um, we've got two 12-inch Kenwood JL Audio subs um, being driven by a Kenwood 823 amp, um, which run through um, a Proline driver made by Phoenix Gold. It's basically, you can change the voltage running into the amp to get better sound quality, so the amp doesn't have to work as hard. Are you a fan of the Carpenters? I think you'd like them. <laughs> no, I don't know them, actually. 
Okay, the time now is about quarter past nine, and with the exception of a little rubber burning, everybody seems to be just enjoying themselves. It's a bunch of youngsters up there in each other's cars. Not my idea of good fun, you understand, but they're happy. But as darkness fell, the mood changed. Compared with earlier in the month, the police presence was light. A crowd gathered around a short section of dual carriageway. The driving got wilder and wilder. And I wasn't the only one who wasn't impressed. I just think that people like this come and ruin it for everybody. They come down and show you car, and there's people going to get killed here. A lad over there in a BMW was wiped out about 20 people. Is that what we want? Deaths on the hands. Police don't want nothing to do with it. I don't want to come to things like this anymore now. And remember, these were all public roads. The driver this Sierra is about to hit was just caught up in the action. If Weston was anything to go by, cruise culture seems to be split between those who just want to enjoy their cars and those who think it's cool to drive like an absolute lunatic on the street. I can't help thinking that an organised event on a disused airfield would allow them all to do their thing and let the rest of the world get on with theirs. I came to Weston with an open mind, but I left with it firmly closed. Thank you for watching. Check out my channel for more old Top Gear videos and other content. Have a wonderful day.